Hi, welcome to Kitchen Garden Therapy. My name is Slava, and today I would like to talk to you about how to make fermented tea. And I will do fermented tea from fruit tree leaves, things like sour cherry, quince tree, shizandra wine, black currant bush, strawberry leaves, and others. So if you're interested, stay with me and I will teach you how to do it. So let's get started by picking some leaves from our fruit trees and bushes. It's a nice and warm day. The cherry tree is blooming and that's when it's the best time to pick leaves for the tea. So you want to pick every one of five or six leaves so never pick too many because it will cause stress for the tree so be gentle with your tree and just pick here and there I also have decided to pick some leaves out of my quince tree quince tree leaves are also great for tea and right now my quince is about to bloom. You can see it's covered all in flower buds. After picking your fruit tree leaves, you have to let them wilt for a couple of hours by just letting them laying on the kitchen towel. You don't want them to completely dry out, so there is no need to dehydrate them. You just want them to lose a little bit of moisture so how do you know that they had wilted already by touching them if you bend the leaf in half there is no snapping sound and it bends really easily they are flexible that means that the leaves are wilted already and that's the first step toward fermentation after your leaves had wilted already you need to start squeezing and massaging them that will help uh, the fermentation process they will start releasing some juices and you will see that they will start changing the color then you need to roll a few leaves together into a cigar shape so you can place them later in a jar for fermentation just like this and after you place rolled leaves into a jar you need something heavy on top of it some kind of weight to squeeze the leaves down so what i'm using here is just a cup of water so these are my teas fermenting. These are the leaves of sour cherry, quince, raspberry and strawberry leaves. And they are under a weight, pressured, and I will cover them with the towel and I'll keep them like this overnight. Actually for 24 hours. And after 24 hours of fermentation, you need to dehydrate your tea leaves in a dehydrator to stop the fermentation. In all other cases, I would just dehydrate my herbs and flowers by letting them sit at room temperature for as long as needed. They dry out really nice. But because we were fermenting, we need to stop the fermentation rapidly. That's why the dehydrator comes really handy in this case. After your tea leaves are dehydrated, it's best to keep them in glass jars. So I had placed each of mine in a different jar, obviously. And I have several in here. Since I was running a dehydrator, I decided to try all other ones. So I have made fermented tea out of sour cherry leaves, quince leaves, black currant, raspberry, shizandra leaves, and 
and lemon balm leaves. And I noticed that 24 hours of fermentation was not enough for lemon balm. It didn't even do anything to it. Also, black currant leaves would enjoy a longer fermentation, I think. But in general, for sour cherry leaves and quince leaves, like fruit tree leaves, the 24-hour fermentation is enough. You can start noticing the difference. Fermented teas are getting their best flavor after sitting for a couple of weeks and kind of aging in the jar. But I was really curious to try how they taste. So today I made sour cherry and black currant together as a combination and a recipe with a lemon balm. So let's give them a try and see how they taste. So this one is black currant and sour cherry and this one is raspberry and lemon balm. And the taste is quite nice in both cases. I really like the sour cherry and black currant more. It has more of a fruity flavor, I would say, and I do enjoy it. There is no herbal aftertaste as it would be if I didn't ferment them. Like I've tasted black currant and sour cherry before without fermentation and they had this herbal taste. Now it tastes more fruity. And raspberry and lemon balm, the lemon balm was more strong and you can taste that lemony scent and flavor so i really enjoyed fermented tea and i do recommend to all of you to give it a try thank you for watching and i'll see you next time